Sarah, Sarah. 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 legislation while their investigation is going on. Nixon, Clinton, Obama all did it. Well, I think the Democrats have uh, shown that they're not capable of doing anything else. So far, they've been unwilling and unable to sit down and solve any real problems, whether it's the crisis at the border, whether it's infrastructure or anything else. It's very hard to have a meeting uh, where you accuse the president of the United States of a crime and then an hour later show up and act as if nothing's happened. Um, the idea of that is insane, I think, to any normal person. I don't think if one of your colleagues accused you of a crime, Crime, then you'd sit down and work on a story two minutes later with them and pretend as if that hadn't happened. Uh, the president's been clear about this. He's been talking about it since the State of the Union. He said, we need to focus on legislation. We need to focus on fixing the problems of this country. And the Mueller report was conclusive. It said there was no collusion. And let's not forget that there have been a number of other, the House and the Senate have also done their own separate hearings and investigations on this matter. And they've all come back with the same thing, that there was no collusion. So how many, how many times do we have to have a redo before the Democrats accept the results. The bottom line is there was no collusion, there was no obstruction, and it's time for them to actually do some real work. You said that the president was unwilling to continue talking with Democrats essentially because his feelings were hurt. Because I'm sorry, I didn't say that. Uh, the president's feelings weren't hurt. She accused him of a crime. Uh, let that sink in. She didn't say, I don't like you. She accused him of committing a crime after we spent two years going through this exhaustive investigative process with Bob Mueller and his team. We've spent millions and millions of taxpayer dollars. We've spent uh, a number of hours sending individuals to testify, 500 different witnesses, dozens of subpoenas. This has been, it's not like this was a one day event. This has taken two years in which the president has been relentlessly attacked and you guys have breathlessly covered every single minute and moment, hoping, waiting to find out that the president of the United States committed a crime. And now people are disappointed to find out that he didn't. At some point you have to accept that it just didn't happen and it's time to move on. Sure. Last question.